I guess it's time to see how much weight we took out of the wiring harness. Twenty seven point two pounds. I thought it'd be more than that. This week we spent about 10 hours making a rather satisfying time lapse video of thinning out and installing the wiring harness. Yeah, 10 hours. That was just your editing time. That doesn't include all the time I spent actually doing it. This is the original underhood harness. We're not using most of this. We're still going to use the lights. This is the turn signal. That's the side marker light. This is the headlight wire. This is for the horn. We'll probably leave that in there. This is a ground. This was to our electric fans. This is a power wire. This is to the factory computer. All this stuff is computer stuff and relays and the starter relay. So we're gonna strip all this down. The only thing that we're gonna use from this harness is the wipers, the horns, and the lights. Everything else is gonna be running a different way when we're done with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow this thing apart and strip out all the wires we're not gonna use and start getting a game plan together for how I'm gonna wire all this stuff up when we put the truck back together. Now we can work with this. It looks like a disaster, I understand that. But there's certain things that I know what they are and I know that I wanna keep them. For instance, this is the starter relay. This is the power going to it. This is the trigger going to the starter. And this is the neutral safety switch and the start signal. So what we can do is we know that this yellow wire here is gonna go all the way back and go into the firewall connector. Since we're not running it through the firewall anymore, we can follow that yellow wire all the way back, find it in our firewall connector, maybe, that's going to be that yellow wire there, and where it goes in, and you could depin this if you wanted to, but I don't, so I'm just going to snip it off right here. Now I know that this goes to our starter solenoid and that's the start signal. So then we have two wires that go to the neutral safety switch. One of them goes to the computer. We're gonna go ahead and take it off at the computer. We probably won't need both of them. So then this one becomes this wire. It should go right over to the transmission plug, which is this one here, and it does. So since I have both sides of this plug, I'm gonna leave a little bit of wire here in case I ever wanna use it for something. I probably won't, but once I cut the wire off, I have to depin it and put a new pin in it. So we'll just leave about that much wire on it. Now, 
we have our starter relay that we can mount probably inside the truck so it's easy to access with all the rest of our wiring and the only wire we have to run out of the cab is this one going to the starter itself then this is our alternator wire and it went to a distribution block but we're not going to use that so we will just cut all of these distribution points off and that's probably fusible link wire but we're not going to use it so we'll just cut it in the middle now we have this that we can save to reuse for our alternator the other end of it is on the engine harness wherever it's at so then the rest of this goes to the transmission we're not using any of that because we're using our neutral safety and our reverse light switch that's on the shifter itself so we don't need this plug anymore so we'll trace those wires out and we can get rid of those actually i changed my mind we're not going to trace out the stuff that we're not going to keep we're going to trace out the stuff we are going to keep because there's a lot more here that we're not going to keep than what we are going to keep so this here is all of our headlight wiring our headlight and turn signals sometimes you get lucky and it pulls right out but most of the time this is what i find it's all these wires they just run them all in one piece and they're all jumbled together and it's an absolute nightmare to untangle them and we don't want to cut any of these wires so we're going to do this a little bit at a time So our grounds are going to kind of jam us up with getting these individual harnesses out. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting them off at the longest length that I can. Okay, so here we have another case of some wires that run around another harness. So we'll put those down there. Now all the rest of this stuff on this side, this is air conditioning. This was the blower motor. This was also air conditioning. This was the windshield wiper washer, which we're not gonna use anymore. So we don't need any of that stuff. We've already got our windshield wipers over here. So all the rest of this stuff is coming out. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna cut any of these wires shorter than we absolutely have to, because we wanna save as much of this wire as we can, because we might be able to reuse it somewhere else. We definitely don't wanna cut that purple one. So those three wires go out. The rest of this stuff can come off. Okay, so near as I can tell, all the rest of this wire goes to the other side of this wiring harness. So we're gonna kind of transfer all this mess up there to the front of the table because we should have all of our wires that we need untangled out of this. So that can all go up there. That's all done. There's the wires we're using. So now we do the same thing on this side. I don't know why these ground wires are so long. But we're gonna shorten them. I'm gonna take a shortcut. I know I'm not using anything in this wiring harness. So I'm just gonna cut this off and then pull all these wires out. So out of all that wiring, this is what we have left. Now, just gotta go through and clean this up. I'll clean off where I cut these wires in here a little bit better. And then we gotta figure out, this goes to the rear, wiring harness goes to the back of the truck. Some of this isn't being used. There's ABS, 
There's the fuel pump wire back there. Some things that we're not gonna use. So we'll cut those out as well. This most likely is the reverse light. So we'll have to run that in the cab somewhere. So now we just gotta figure all that out. I could have swore that I filmed a talking portion when I started the rear harness, but apparently I didn't. Same process, cut the, cut the old wrapping stuff off and thin out the wires that we don't need. Okay, now that we have the rear wiring harness knocked out, all we got left is the front, or the dash wiring harness. But it's late, I'm tired, we'll tackle this tomorrow. I've kind of, just kind of got an idea where I'm at off camera here. This is all of our steering column plugs. This will be the turn signals and the horn and the windshield wipers. Go through these two plugs here, these ones here around the outside aren't used. So we know that. This is the buzzer, we're not gonna use that. That went to the little accessory light, we won't use that. That went to the message center, we aren't gonna use that. Those went to the original gauges, we won't use those. This goes to the headlight switch over here, so that's what we're gonna use. And then these two are the ignition switch and the high beam switch. And then we also have our brake light switch over here as well, which is this one, I believe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I need, I've got my wiring harness on my laptop over there. I'm gonna get it set up. It's not as, as straightforward on this as it is on the stuff on the engine because you could just trace wires on that, but I don't know, I don't know what for sure all these plugs are and I don't wanna cut a wire I need. I'll be using the wiring diagram along the way on this one. So sometimes you have to reverse engineer how the locks in these things work. The next one should go a lot easier. We're gonna leave this wire. This originally goes to the dome lamp. We're gonna use it to power the dome lamp and we're just gonna put a switch in the back. We're not gonna use any of the door switches or anything.
As far as I can tell, that is all the wires we need out of this harness right there. We want to use this connector, so I'm going to carefully start cutting this loose. This spaghetti mess is what we're left with. This wiring is going to run all of our lights, our turn signals, our brake lights, our reverse lights, and everything once we get this put back in the truck. This is weight savings. First thing we're going to do is take our inside wiring harness. This is the one that goes inside the dash. And we're going to go put this in there and try to make it look a lot better than it does right now. Quick update on the wiring on the under dash portion of this wiring harness. It's very hard to film this, so bear with me. We've got all these wires here have somewhere to go, but they're going to be integrated into the new wiring, so I'm just leaving them alone for right now. We've started building our connector for our gauges and our cluster. We've got our wiring coming off the bulkhead connector coming up over across the top. I thought about cutting this extra out here but I just I, I don't want to put a bunch of butt splice in there so we're just going to tuck that back there it comes over down to our turn signal and wiper plug there that goes into the column for the turn signal switch the wipers are on the end here and then we've got the high beam switch the high beam switch is actually operated by this rod and it's right back down here that wiring comes over back over to our headlight switch we have our high beam indicator wire is in this plug and these are our two turn signal wires. We have our brake light switch right down here and the plug for it. This brake light switch works out has a normally open and normally closed position. So the two of these wires are going to go to ground and battery which is the two here the pink and blue and the black. Ground on the black pink and blue is battery. And then the other one is the brake light wire. This is the wire that gets power when the brakes are depressed. And this wire is going to have a ground when the brakes are released. So I'm going to use that when I wire the nitrous so that the nitrous will be disabled whenever the brakes are being pressed. That's as far as we've got so far on the inside. And the rest of these wires need to go to power or ground, which we are going to do when we build our new wiring harness with the power and ground distribution in it. I'm going to get outside and start working on the underhood portion of this wiring harness. Okay, so this rat's nest is going to be our underhood harness. We're going to start by plugging in our bulkhead fitting. And this one just takes a bolt right here in the center, holds everything together. I'm not tightening any of this up right now, but I don't have obviously fenders or the front end or anything on here. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to start sorting these wires out and I'm going to get them just kind of routed where they're going to go and wrapped up so that I can make sense of what they are.
That big old rat's nest turned into this neat wiring loom. This goes to the left side headlight. All this goes over to the right side headlight. We have our horn wire going towards the right side headlight. We'll go ahead and put that over there. We got our wipers running along this channel up here to the wiper motor. I'm really happy with how this is all turning out. The last thing that we have to do for the factory wiring that we're reusing is the, the rear harness, which plugs into this plug down here. And basically that's just gonna be eliminating a lot of wires that we're not using. The only thing we're using in the back is stop, turn, tail, and reverse lights. We gotta eliminate all the other wires. There's a fuel pump wire, there's some sensor wires, the rear, rear ABS modules back there. So we're just basically gonna unpin that connector, take everything out, but left and right stop, which is two wires, tail lights, which is one wire, reverse lights, which is one wire. So we're gonna have four wires running back there. Pick up the ground in the back. The grounds on this truck, they ran along a, a lot of places and went to like consolidated grounding points. I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna run my grounds very short. I'm gonna make a good ground from the body to the frame, from the frame to the battery, and then just make all my ground points tie back into the frame and use the kind of the frame as like a ground bus bar so that I don't have to run a bunch of extra wiring all over the place and risk getting it. I mean, these things get hot, you can burn wires. I just would rather not have any extra wiring. Plus it's all a little bit of weight. I mean, our pile of wire we're taking out is getting pretty big over there. So this is our rear wiring harness. It's not actually too much because there's not a lot going back there on this truck. We're gonna leave the factory end of it alone. As you can see, once we get back here, all we've got is we've got left and right turn, and this is also stop. Reverse lights is the two purple ones. The park light wire, or marker lights is the black and yellow, and the two grays are a ground. So we'll cut those, they're already not connected to the front. So we'll cut those off pretty short and find a good place on the frame. This all connects into the frame, find a good place on the frame back there to ground that right at the back of the truck. At the front, you can see we have quite a few more wires. So what we're gonna do is just unpin this connector and take the wires out that we're not using. From the factory, they use these little pins to plug the holes that you're not using. I don't have any more of those, so when I get ready to put this all together, I'll make sure that this is covered in dielectric grease and also the back of it, uh, maybe put a dab of silicone on each of the holes that we're not using. If you're gonna drive this permanently on the street in weather and everything else, that'd be much more important for our purposes. I think just a little dab of silicone on the back and then some dielectric grease in the connector will be just fine. I made one oversight. This purple wire is not gonna get its power from this harness because the reverse lights didn't come out of the cab. They came out of the transmission wiring harness which we're not using anymore. So we're gonna have to pick this up underneath the floor somewhere. It'll go, still go in this purple wire. It just won't go all the way up to this plug, but we'll figure that out once we get the interior wiring harness done. That being said, that is the balance of the factory harness that we're gonna be reusing on this truck. Everything else is gonna be built. I'm gonna use a lot of the wire from the factory harness, but it's not gonna go where it originally went. It's not gonna do the same thing that originally went. We're not using any more factory plugs. It's all gonna be aftermarket or racing or whatever you wanna say from here on out. So that's what losing about 27 pounds of wiring looks like. Honestly, it's more about what it looks like than, than the 27 pounds of weight loss. I mean, that's nice too, but it looks so much better and so much cleaner than it did before. Check out our D150 playlist to see just how much work we've done to this truck. See you soon.